everyone is always talking about how powerful ChatGPT is. And that's because it's true. ChatGPT is a very powerful tool that anyone can use. It can help with brainstorming and ideation. It can help you learn new things at hyper speeds. I'm smarter than I've ever been thanks to ChatGPT. And it can also help you generate unique original content online within seconds. But what about those real life use cases? What about those things that you can actually apply ChatGPT for in your everyday life? Well, that's what I'm going to show you today. In this video, I'm going to be cooking a recipe for my entire family, and I'm going to start with ChatGPT. I'm going to get the recipe generated with ChatGPT, order the ingredients with ChatGPT, and when those ingredients are delivered to my house within a couple hours, after ordering them from ChatGPT, I'm actually going to cook the meal using the instructions that ChatGPT gave me, and at the end of this video, I'm going to let you know how ChatGPT did when preparing this meal for my certain amount of guests that I want it to be prepared for. So this is going to be a very fun video. We are jumping to a real life use case of ChatGPT from ordering the ingredients to having them shipped to my house to actually cooking the meal with the instructions ChatGPT gave me and the requests that I had for those recipe instructions. This is going to be very fun. Stick around for the end of the video where I rate this recipe and how ChatGPT did. And I can also get some other people's ratings on the recipe as well. Now, before we jump into ChatGPT, I wanted to real quick give you an opportunity to join my private ChatGPT mastery group. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to dive deeper into every single feature of ChatGPT and how it can improve your life, then I highly recommend joining my course and community, which I will be leaving in the description or the top pinned comment below. This is the community section of the ChatGPT mastery group. You can come in here, you can write something, you can give it a title, give it a description, upload a video, add whatever you want and post however many times and whenever you want. You can get feedback from members of the group. We can start these long threads where we can go in here and give your thoughts on the course. We can go give money-making strategies with GPTs and share what you've created with ChatGPT and so on. As you can see, I have 45 plus modules in here on mastering ChatGPT. Every feature of ChatGPT is going to be covered within this course and it's always updating so that whenever a ChatGPT update comes out, you have the ability to come back to the course and learn how to master that new feature. Like I said, I will be leaving a link to join in the top pinned comment or the description below. Now let's jump into ChatGPT and get building this recipe. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open up all of my GPTs that I have activated over here on the left. Yes, I have a ton of GPTs that help me with many different things. And in the course, I actually go in depth on how to create a successful GPT if that's something you're interested in. But I have this GPT pin called Ask Instacart. And this Instacart plugin allows you to create recipes with ChatGPT and automatically add them to a shopping list so that the recipe and the ingredients can get delivered to your house within hours or depending on where you live, maybe even within an hour. So this plugin is super powerful and this is what I'm going to be using in order to generate my recipe idea. Not only the idea, but the instructions on how to cook the recipe because it uses ChatGPT and ChatGPT is very good at that. And I'm also going to get all of the ingredients I need online, have them delivered to my house, and then cook that meal with the instructions ChatGPT gave me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type out a prompt that fits all of my needs and my criteria for eating this meal. So this is the first prompt that I've given ChatGPT. And I'm going to go on a step-by-step -step process with these prompts because ChatGPT, when it focuses on one thing at a time, is much more powerful. So if I told it to give me the unique dinner idea, uh, generate the instructions, generate the recipe list. It's not going to be as in depth as if you ask it one question and give it one task or action at a time. So I say, I need help with a recipe. I'm stating my goal here. I'm stating what I want ChatGPT to do. And then I say, I want to make a unique pasta and shrimp meal that serves 10 people. So I'm providing my proper context. I need to signify to ChatGPT how many people I am serving. That way it knows how much ingredients to put to my shopping list in the future. And this is the first step that I want ChatGPT to do. So I have my overarching goal, I need help with a recipe, but here's my small action that I need help with currently. I say first, give me three ideas for unique pasta and shrimp dinners. I will choose which one sounds best and move on to the next set of instructions. Just give me the ideas for the dinner right now. So I want ChatGPT first to generate me three unique ideas for a pasta and shrimp dinner that I can then select from and then choose instructions that I want generated and so on. So I'm going to send off this prompt and Instacart is going to provide me three unique pasta and shrimp dinner ideas. ChatGPT generated three ideas that in my opinion are very, very hard to choose from. We have the creamy Cajun shrimp pasta, the lemon garlic shrimp and zucchini noodles, 
and the shrimp and pesto pasta with sun-dried tomatoes. All three of these sound amazing, but I'm kind of wanting something with a little bit of kick, a little bit of spice, you know? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the creamy Cajun shrimp pasta. And now that I have my dinner selected that I want to go forward with, what I can do is I can create a set of instructions in an ingredient list that I will need for this meal. And with the ingredients that I don't already have, I can add it to my Instacart shopping list from ChatGPT and have it delivered to the house for dinner. So I'm going to type out another prompt in order to complete my request. So first I'm just going to generate the ingredient list. And remember, giving ChatGPT one action at a time is when it becomes most powerful. So I'm saying, I'm going with the creamy Cajun shrimp pasta, then I give it my action. Next, I want you to create a detailed ingredient list for this dinner with proper amounts that will serve 10 people. So I'm reiterating that I am having dinner for 10 people, so I'm going to need the ingredient amount to match that. I don't wanna have too much and I don't wanna have too little. I want everyone to get a nice serving of this pasta tonight. So I'm going to send off this message and now ChatGPT is going to generate that detailed ingredient list. And now ChatGPT has generated the ingredient list that I need. And ChatGPT is giving me everything from the pasta and the shrimp to the garnishing at the end of the meal. And it's also generated a slight preparation list in how to do everything, but I wanna generate a more detailed preparation and actual cooking instructions with measurements of what I need to do in each step. So that is going to come a little bit later, but it's nice that it generated that for us already. If you're ever questioning whether something is going to be right or not, you can ask ChatGPT throughout the process. So is two pounds of pasta going to be enough for 10 people? That's what I'm going to ask ChatGPT. And then it says, it's generally recommended to allocate four to six ounces of dry pasta per person. For 10 people, this translates to 40 to 60 ounces. And then it started doing its calculations and it even asked me, would you like to adjust the ingredient list to include three pounds of pasta? Because now that we've asked ChatGPT and questioned it, it's ran through its calculations a little bit better. And now it's asking if I'd like to adjust the ingredient list to three pounds of pasta. I'm going to say yes. Now ChatGPT has adjusted the ingredient list. Now it's time to actually get the ingredients ordered and delivered to my door. And while they're getting delivered, I'm going to generate a detailed instruction list, put it over in a Google Doc and print it out so that I have it when I'm cooking. So I'm telling ChatGPT to add all of those ingredients to a shopping list. It's as simple as that. And when I hit send this message, it's going to use Instacart to automatically create a shopping list that I can then purchase the ingredients for and then have them delivered to my doorstep, which is going to be amazing. As you can see, it's added all of the ingredients to this creamy Cajun shrimp pasta. As I'm speaking to you, it gives me a nice link that I can then click on. So now what I can do is I can actually click on this blue link that it gave me within the chat thread of ChatGPT. And just like that, we're going to be taken to a custom Instacart shopping list. And as you can see, we have delivery by Meyer by 3.50 p.m. So this is very, very powerful. We can go in here, we can look at what it added to our list, we can edit things. Uh, as you can see, it gave us half a cup of chopped parsley, which is very nice. It gave us some Parmesan cheese. It also gave us salt and pepper, which I already have. So if you already have something, you can just check it off the shopping list. But yeah, you can kind of go in here and edit your list to make sure it's the exact way that you need it. And I highly recommend going over this a couple of times to make sure that you have everything you need. But ChatGPT conveniently puts all the ingredients right in front of your face. So you can just go in here and adjust the quantity. Again, for example, if I click into the heavy whipping cream, there's 16 fluid ounces. If I head back to my ingredient list, I see that I need how much heavy whipping cream? Three cups of heavy cream. So that means I'm going to have to add one more of those to my cart in order to satisfy that. Since eight ounces is a cup, 16 ounces, two, I'll have a little extra left. So I'm going to go through here and adjust all the ingredients to my liking. And when you're ready and when you've edit everything that you need within your cart, what you can do is hit add 11 ingredients to cart. You can go through here, you can check everything once more. And then when you're ready, you can hit go to checkout. And now I'm going to go through the checkout process, which is quite straightforward. So once you go through the checkout process, it's very simple. You have to add a tip because they do save you a trip to the store, which I think is very good to just do. So make sure you tip your delivery driver well, and then hit place order. And then all the ingredients are being placed to my house right now. So while the food is being delivered, let's actually get the recipe instructions very detailed down. So we have a great idea on how to cook this within ChatGPT. Then we can print it out and have it ready for when the food arrives. Within the same chat thread that I've been in, I can tell ChatGPT, make very detailed recipe instructions that will help guide me through the meal with direct measurements from the most current ingredient list and also times, temperatures, and everything that goes into a well-refined recipe instructions list. So there is no room for confusion when I cook this meal. And then I can send off that prompt 
and let ChatGPT generate me this amazing recipe instruction list for the creamy Cajun shrimp pasta for 10 people. So once again, it's going to list out the ingredients, and then after that, it's going to give me the recipe instructions. As you can see, it's giving me these nice headers and also subheadings, and that's great for when I print this out. I can keep it and use it later if I end up liking the recipe. And after it generated the ingredients, it gave me very, very detailed instructions with times, ingredient measurements, and it also gave me serving tips and cooking tips along the way. It's telling me to taste as you go. Feel free to add more Cajun seasoning if you like it spicier. So it's giving me everything I need in order to have a successful recipe. Now it's time to wait for the ingredients to arrive and then put ChatGPT's recipe instructions to the test. So I'll be back once all of the ingredients arrive at the house. I'm here with Productive Dude. Instacart actually ended up delivering my food to the wrong house, but hopefully on the same road. So now we're going to go to find the food. Well, this is not a problem with ChatGPT, keep in mind. This is a problem with Instacart. This guy's done many orders. I don't think he messes up that much. The numbers on our mailbox are ripped off. Could very well be an honest mistake, but we're gonna go find this food. We ended up flagging down the grocery guy. He was on the side of the road looking for the Addy. So, got the groceries now. Next, it's time to prep the meal. So the ingredients have now arrived. We have the onions, we've got the peppers, we've got the water boiling back behind us, and I've actually printed out the ingredient list directly from ChatGPT. So now I have all the ingredients I need. So if I want to use this in the future, that I have it. But I also have instructions on how to cook the meal generated with ChatGPT. I even got some help here uh, in order to help me cut all of this stuff because there's a lot to it. And yeah, we're gonna dive in and we're gonna get cooking. We're done with step one and we have begun step two with the pasta. We've got all the ingredients prepped and now I need to start seasoning and cooking the shrimp while the pasta is getting ready. So I'm going to follow ChatGPT's instructions. It says while the pasta cooks, season the shrimp with two tablespoons of Cajun seasoning, ensuring that they are evenly coated. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I have the shrimp right here all thawed out. I'm going to dump it in this bowl here. And now I'm going to add the Cajun seasoning to all of this, mix it around and make sure that it's evenly coated. And as you can see, I just destroyed my instructions with the shrimp juice. So this is not good. So next up, we're gonna prepare the sauce in the same skillet that we cooked the shrimp in. ChatGPT told us to uh, prepare the sauce in the same one. So what we're doing is we're adding all the vegetables to it and we're adding the remaining butter to it as well. And we're going to cook the sauce and then it will pretty much be ready to go once the pasta is done as well. So we followed ChatGPT's instructions completely, steps one through five. And now step six is to actually serve the pasta. So we have the sauce cooked and we have the pasta cooked. Following ChatGPT's instructions, it looks really good, it smells really good. So now it's time to combine the two, give it a taste test, and see what everybody thinks of it. All right, so I just got done cooking the ChatGPT dinner with the help of a couple people. And now we're going to go around the table and ask everyone what they thought about it. They're gonna give it a rating out of 10. And here we go. Mother, what do you think? I give it a 9.5. The taste was really good. It was a different flavor. I've had a lot of shrimp and pasta, but never anything that tasted like that. You can taste the fresh veggies and it's really creamy, wonderful, great flavor. Lauren, what do you think? I give it an eight and a half out of 10. And I agree that I think that the veggies add a good flavor and um, the Cajun is good, not too spicy though. Good flavor. Nice. Bernice, what do you think? 
I'll give it a nine out of ten. Um, I really, really like it. I think it's, I think it's very filling. I also like the vegetable selection. You don't really see that in a lot of like shrimp pastas. Um, and yeah, I hope you make it again. Sweet, Vladi, what do you think? Hi, I give it a nine point five out of ten. Nice. I like the veggies uh, because they give a great flavor, but I'm kind of a picky eater, so I won't eat them. <laughs> nice. Hello. Anya, what do you think? Uh, I give it a 9 out of 10 as well. I like that it's a bit spicy and I also really like, I feel like it's a good amount of veggies and pasta and shrimp. Nice. Noli, what do you think? The give chef the, himself. I give it a solid 9 out of 10. Uh, the vegetables have a very great uh, freshness to them. I don't know how to describe it. It's amazing. But the Cajun mixed with the vegetables, it's... It's chef's kiss. I mean, Amazing. Yeah, Amazing. Well, myself, I give it an eight and a half out of 10 or an 8.3 out of 10. I think it was really good, um, but I can't be too generous to myself and give it a nine. Since Productive Dude, otherwise known as Carter Sirach, could not eat with us, we are delivering the food to him in order to get his honest opinion on how it tastes and how ChatGPT did. Let's see what the Notion King thinks of the ChatGPT meal. All right, we've just arrived at Productive Dude's place and he's gonna give out, give the pasta a try. Maybe, maybe Reesey Dog will give the pasta a attempt too. So yeah, you're gonna have to let me know. Chat, ChatGPT made the entire thing. So it made it from the ingredient list to the recipe, everything about it. So even delivered it to my doorstep as you saw picking up the groceries with me, so. Well, I'm excited to try this and thank you for the special delivery. I of course, it. you're gonna have to give it a rating as well. All right, let's see what it's all about. All right, so you've tried it. What do you think so far out of 10? It's pretty solid. Um, the fact that ChatGPT made this entire dish is very impressive to me that there's an AI out there that can consider, you know, the texture, every little thing about it, and even the amount of people, and then backtrack and improve on the ingredients and add the ingredients. Judging that this came from ChatGPT, I'm gonna give it an eight. It's a fair rating. It's pretty good. There we go. So there you have it. That was the entire process of cooking an entire meal using ChatGPT, all the way from generating the ingredients uh, with the certain amount of people. You can get hyper-specific with this. And it gave us multiple ideas to choose from, which made it also a very unique experience. After we did the ingredients, we actually got those ingredients generated in a shopping list with ChatGPT that we could automatically add all the ingredients to our cart within 30 seconds and then have them delivered to our house within an hour. And then we actually cooked the meal. So everything started from ChatGPT and this was the entire process from start to finish. If you liked this use case and you wanna learn how to use ChatGPT from A to Z in depth, then once again, I highly recommend joining my ChatGPT Mastery community, where you're going to get access to a course with 45 plus different modules, teaching you how to become a master of ChatGPT. I will leave a link in the description or the top pinned comment if you are interested. But with that being said, I also have tons of free content that you can learn from here on YouTube. So if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe. I would highly, highly appreciate it. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.